Okay, latest update on the P38. Uh, I gave it a, a coat of uh, aluminum plate just because I had uh, a couple cans of that. I wanted to see what that would look like uh, with this P38. Uh, I used the aluminum plate for my uh, 1350 uh, Star Trek Enterprise build for the NX-01. Uh, that seems to be the right color for the base coat for the hull for that. So I had a couple of cans left over and so I tried out the aluminum plate on this and it just it's it's just too white of a silver. Um, it's just too too ghostly. So I mean it, it kind of looks okay, but it, it is not the uh, kind of chrome silver that uh, that you see on the box so I'm gonna go ahead and invest in uh, going silver on this um, and move forward that way <clears throat> so it'll be a bit longer before I get this done but uh, right now I'm I've got some seam work uh, drawing I've been using some canopy glue to fill in some gaps um, but so far uh, so far I like uh, I like how it looks um, it's uh, it's gonna be quite a beautiful plane afterward but here's one thing I'm just really annoyed with myself about oh my god I'm so annoyed with myself this is a clear piece and it's a landing light and had I known that ahead of time if I would have just if I would have just paid a little bit more attention to the damn instructions I would have put an SMD in there and then I would have had a nice light right there a nice source coming down from the plane on the diorama so I'm really, really annoyed with myself that I missed out on that opportunity. But, you know, I've got a bunch of other things lit on it. Uh, and it'll be fine. But that just really, really annoyed me when I saw that. I can't even begin to tell you how much that annoyed me. Ah. Uh, jeez. <sighs> So I do have the, uh, the nose done, okay, and I've got the canopy here drying. I just put in the uh, fastener piece for this top section of the canopy that opens. That's drying right now. And here, let me go down so you can see it. So this was uh, this was pretty easy to mask off and get all of that. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, and that's in the aluminum plate too. And I think I'll just leave that. I'm, I'm not going to mask that again. Uh, to get it silver um, but uh, but this is how she looks um, and I'm just I'm just beside myself uh, with not realizing that that was a light source on the bottom side of the wing because who would put a landing light on the bottom edge of the wing you would you would put your landing light on the leading edge of the wing like every other aircraft I've ever seen who would be lighting straight down near the end of the wingtip I just I just do not get that design element at all and uh, so I'm, I'm just trying to justify my own stupidity by getting all been out of shape about that uh, so here's the uh, wheels and tires 
okay, and painted uh, rubber black, which is, is it, no, not that one, uh, XF85 by Tamiya, okay, I'm going to have to get some more of that pretty soon too, I've been going through that pretty quickly. So there's where the P35 is right now. Um, propellers are all still working, lights are all still working, all that's great. Uh, the cockpit looks really good with all the blinking lights. I've trimmed down the uh, fiber optics so everything's nice and flush in there. I just need to get in there with my little tiny, little tiny fine brush and just dab some of those switches with some uh, transparent uh, red or some transparent yellow to just so it's not all just white lights blinking in there um, but that's where that's where she is right now and uh, I'm gonna let this dry some more and then uh, tomorrow maybe I can make it uh, over to somewhere to get some silver because I have no silver at all uh, I can't believe I don't have any silver, but uh, I don't. And I think I'll just uh, I'll just can it instead of uh, trying to go with my airbrush because the can seems to work pretty well uh, with coverage on this. So that's where we are, and I will uh, I will check back with you once I get a little further with it. Thanks.